Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. We are discussing about the fundamental features of object oriented programming. And these are the three fundamental features of object oriented programming technique. And in the previous tutorial we were discussing about the inheritance that is there will be a base class and we can create a class using this base class. Here in this case there will be a single base class and single derived class. So we can say this as single level inheritance. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the multi level inheritance and multiple inheritance. First we will discuss about the multi level inheritance. In this case there will be a base class and we can derive a class from this base class that is derived class 1 and from this derived class 1 we can derive another class that is derived class 2 and here we can see many levels so it is called as multi level inheritance here base class contains feature 1 and first derived class contains feature of this base class plus feature of this derived class 1 and the second derived class contains feature of base class plus feature of derived class 1 and the feature of this derived class 2 we'll take an example okay this is the example for multi-level inheritance here we can see child it is a derived class from this class father and this father class is derived from this grandfather multi-level inheritance is nothing but there will be a base class and we'll derive another class from this base class and from the derived class we'll derive another class we'll see a programming example for this okay here in this example we can see three class that is class person class employee and class programmer fine and class person is a base class and it contains method display okay and class employee is a derived class and we can see this is derived from the base class person okay and it contains another method and here we can see third class that is programmer and this programmer class is derived from the class employee here we created an object for the class programmer and here we call the method belongs to class person class employee and class programmer fine so i'll save this and run this and here we can see the output this is the class person this is the derived class employee this is the another derived class programmer here person is the base class and employee is derived from the base class person and the programmer class is derived from the employee class this is about the multi-level inheritance okay next is multiple inheritance in the multiple inheritance there will be more than one base class for example here we can see base class 1 and base class 2 and by using this two base class we are deriving a new class if a new class is derived from more than one base class then it is called as multiple inheritance okay next we'll see an example this is uh, lime living animals and this is water living animals these are two different class but frog is belongs to both right frog is land living as well as water living and here father is a different class mother is a different class but child contains both dns right okay this is the example of multiple inheritance we'll see a programming example now okay here in this example we can see class land animal and class water animal these are the two base class and here we can see the methods printing and display and here we can see the class frog this is the derived class and this is derived from two base classes that is land animal and water animal and here this is an empty class next we created an object from this frog class and here we are accessing printing and display methods which are belongs to base class so i'll run this and here we can see the output here this class frog is derived from two base class right this is multiple inheritance okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care